Hi everyone, Bernard here. I hope you're all staying safe and well. And welcome to the film and TV channel. We have a, a six episode TV crime drama to have a look at today. Yeah, it's been airing on or showing on Channel 4. We've had one episode as I'm recording this. And it's now available to binge watch. Yes, as you know, I like to do on all four. So today, join me as we have a look at... Uh, uh, series 1, because there is plans for more, of uh, Before We Die. Please, if you're new to the channel, push that subscribe button, push the bell notification, and check out my lists of film reviews, TV drama reviews like this, information, vlogs, what's out to buy, what's on at the cinema, etc, etc. And you'll also notice some football stuff as well. So if that's any interest to you, my Citizen channel is uh, about my football team, Manchester City. So loads of stuff on there. So please uh, check that out. City Pass, City Present, City Quizzes, City Book Club, City Magazine, vlogs, loads of different things. So, Or if you know somebody who might be interested, please point them in my direction. I'd be very grateful. But it's uh, TV drama today we're going to have a look at. And I do post loads of stuff on Facebook and Twitter. So if you have any followers or friends on there, seek me out. The links are on screen. And I do follow and friend everyone back within a couple of days. So give us a couple of days and I will do that for you. And uh, please, all your comments on this series. Yeah, I'd be interested to see what you think of the, this series. Obviously, I'll let you know what I think. But I'll let you know what other people are thinking as well. Not many reviews out there at the moment. But uh, uh, an interesting one on Internet Movie Database, which we'll, uh, I'll quote from anyway as we do this. So leave me your comments. And of course, if you've no time to give us a comment, just give us a little thumbs up as well. That's great. If you enjoy what I try and do, I try and inform. And if I can entertain in any way, I'm not going to sing and dance, uh, which is good for you. But uh, there you go. Let, let me know. Give us that thumbs up. That'd be great. Right, before we die, yeah, um, as I said, I binge watch this on all four. I watch the first episode and then obviously sometimes they stick on all four. They don't always do that, but uh, obviously I'm grateful they did for this time. So, yeah, six episodes, about 44 to 46 minute episodes. And what's it about? Well, Detective Hannah Lang becomes deeply conflicted when she discovers her son is playing a crucial role as an undercover informant in a brutal murder investigation. And we have starring in this, we have Leslie Sharp, uh, Patrick Gibson, Vincent Regan, Rebecca Scroggs, Tony Gavanovich, uh, Izzy Knopfler and Bill Ward. Yeah, Internet Movie Database. Yeah, that's the only place we can see. There's nothing on Rotten Tomatoes, nothing on Metacritic at the moment for this. Internet Movie database score job public just 40 reviews and score so very early days but it's only getting a 5.3 out of 10 that's a little bit disappointing the first episode did, did score over six uh, but i'll have more about that in a moment when i give you my views on this and just stick with Internet Movie Database. There's a lot of complaints. This is actually an adaptation of a Swedish uh, uh, series that uh, was called the same name uh, a few years back. So obviously uh, this sort of... Uh, sort of collates a lot of the views on Internet Movie Database. It's only six or seven written reviews, but this is uh, from Ian Brumpton on the 27th of May. He wrote, it's a poor adaptation. Watch the original. He only gave it five out of ten. Uh, and he went on to say, this is a fairly straight adaptation of the Swedish series from 2017 of the same title, which can also be found on all four with a follow-up series in 2019. So yeah, stick to all four. Some good stuff on all four if you get a chance to watch that. If you're outside of the UK, if you can get hold of that somehow. I watched it this year and it's vastly superior to this. For me, the adaptation didn't travel well or ring true, transferred to Bristol and shot there, and also in Brussels for some reason. Leslie Sharp is an excellent actress, but she has too much to do here as the supporting cast is very weak. Well, I'll give you my thoughts on Leslie in a moment. Direction was weak to average with a lot of forced scenes. Photography was nice. The score was busy and cheesy, often telegraphing the action or destroying the drama within scenes. Script general was poor with much clunky dialogue. Dialogue. Yeah, so a lot of my thoughts are uh, encompassed in that little review there. My thanks to Ian Brumpton there who wrote that uh, a day or two ago as I'm recording this. Yeah, so I say straight on to my thoughts. I haven't seen the original. I haven't seen this, the original Swedish yet series or, or the sequel to it, the second series. Uh, so I did have the benefit in a way of just watching this as a standalone British crime thriller, if you like, or set in Britain anyway. Uh, yeah, beginning with the actors, some do a better job than others in this. I've seen what obviously seen a lot of familiar faces in this as well but uh, sadly Leslie Sharp yes Leslie Sharp I do like Leslie Sharp don't get me wrong and I, I like she's in one of my favorite series back in the day uh, Scott and Bailey if you've ever watched that fantastic uh, British police uh, uh, drama thriller uh, I did enjoy her in that but uh, to be honest with you she's a pretty 
pretty she's the main lead in this there are a few other lead characters as well but she's pretty poor in this she's pretty weak i mean a, a tone of voice and a face very rarely change no matter what the circumstance whether it's something happy or something bad or something terrifying uh, and i think she's a, a sadly sadly in my opinion not the greatest actress in the world actor in the world uh, and even the use of the f word that she throws in once or twice doesn't doesn't quite feel right within within the scope it feels right within the within the film within the drama obviously because it's a, a very gritty powerful uh, background to this but uh, it just doesn't feel right when she delivers it so that's just overall uh, Leslie yeah a little a little bit weak uh, to play such a such a character and such a lead in this to be honest with you uh, a lot of the other characters are okay I say they're, they're a bit bit of a mix-up uh, between the other characters but uh, I, I had to have a little mention of Leslie's attempts and say she's a Manchester lass so all credit to her but I say she's just a little bit disappointed in this one uh, yeah back to the thing itself episode one was very very good I did enjoy that episode one I was quite impressed uh, but sadly that was about as good as it got it gradually sort of uh, sort of grew weaker as, as this series went on there was the odd cliffhanger the odd twist thrown into it so keep getting interested in each of these six episodes but but boy but did it drag uh, uh i think the six episodes may have been better if it had been put into a 90 minute length film i think we might not have got a half decent film out of that all right apart from the acting perhaps but i think it'd been stuck in a 90 minute film i think yeah it would probably been a lot lot better uh, and that said let's be fair i do what i do binge watch these so perhaps as a weekly watch yeah, one episode a week it's probably a little bit better actually than just watching it as a binge because as I say by by episodes five and six I was just hoping for it to end as I sort of watch this all in one go so yeah as a weekly watch it may be a little bit better but as I say it's still still it will still drag for a lot of people as well but so there you go and the other big big problem with this is it has a, it has a sort of second rate feel to it it's all set in Bristol um if it was set in London or one of the big cities I mean no, no disrespect to Bristol but it all seems a little bit amateurish being being set there from from the gangsters to the police all looking and even the spooks we even get a, the odd spook in this uh, don't you know who fe feature briefly but it all feels a little corny and second rate in the story and it's storytelling and i say no disrespect to bristol i, I like bristol some great buildings fantastic uh some some uh, I, thought, I thought the uh restaurant where it was shot and a couple of the uh an office and stuff and fantastic buildings fantastic uh, uh design etc i did i would love i'd kill to live and work in places like that but uh Overall, it just gave it that second sort of corny sort of feel. They didn't quite work in a in a gritty police drama, which is what it was trying to be or what what it was meant to be. I mean, even the gunshots, even even the, the gunshots didn't sound very gunshotty. You know, they just sounded pretty poor. And even the armed police didn't look as though they knew, they knew what how to hold a gun. Never mind fire at fire a gun, but. Uh, there you go, and certainly Leslie, Leslie had a little bit of holding a gun as well. I guess she wasn't overly comfortable in that. Yeah, so sadly, by episode six, yeah, I was just wanting it to end, which is a, which is a great shame because obviously I, said I did enjoy that very, very first promising first episode. Uh, as with the Swedish original, it's set up for a second series. This, uh, but uh, please, I'm not particularly bothered about there being a second uh, English version. I may watch the sequel. I may watch the Swedish version. Certainly, the second Swedish version. If I get a chance to read subtitles, etc., which isn't always easy when I watch these things. Sometimes I have to do other bits and pieces pieces and don't get time to fully focus but uh, yeah I'll, I'll probably watch the the second series the Swedish version rather than perhaps an English version as I said which this has been set up for so there you go uh rating wise yeah as I said you can see I'm a little bit disappointed I, I would give I would have given episode one a very watchable rating I would have given it probably 6.5 out of 10 by the end of it all as I said if I'd watched it weekly it might have been a little bit higher but I could only base it on on what I did and I, I binge watched it and to be honest with you uh i was all just wanting it to end by 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 the end so there you go by episode three or four i was getting it was okay -ish, but by episode five i was just wanting it all to finish and get it out of the way and get it done so i'm going to give it an overall score one of my lowest scores actually for a british drama for a long time 
I'm just going to give it a 4 out of 10. As I say, not a total disaster, but hey, it's as I said, watch it weekly rather than binge watch it or watch, you know, you sort of watch it, say, an episode every two or three days or something like that if you, if you need to do it. But and it's probably a little bit better if you do that. It's not too complicated. The storylines are quite easy to follow. There's no, no great flashbacks and various things. It's all quite simply told. But uh, yeah, I've got it based on the watch I've got. Based on my watch, anyway, I'll give it four out of ten. But I said it's, it's say it might be, it might be a bit better for you. But as I say, if you watch the original, most people are saying forget it. If you watch, watch the Swedish original, don't even bother with this version. You'll be very very disappointed. Anyway, let me know what in the comments what you think. Thanks for watching today. What are we going to do the rest of the day? Have a great one. Look after yourselves. Look after your friends. Look after your families. More importantly, let's all look after each other. So we we'll meet here again on the film and TV channel. Or perhaps you have a flit across. Have a look at my Citizen channel, my football channel. I only asked you ever ever to please stay safe everyone thanks for watching bye for now